welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here happy happy saturday it is saturday so you know what that means it is grocery haul day this week i actually did walmart grocery pickup target because i'm loving target and of course my usual trader joe's for all of my produce for the week so if you want to see not only what i picked up for the week my recipes i have in store and what i'll be putting out on monday for meal prep keep on watching All right, so here is this week's grocery haul. I have quite the haul this week. I actually went to three stores. I did a Walmart grocery pickup. I also went to Trader Joe's per the use to get my produce. And once again, returned to Target because I'm loving Target. So let me show you what I picked up for this week. First thing I grabbed was a case of water just because we're out of bottled water and my husband does take it with him to work each day. Grabbed the Chobani coffee creamer in caramel. Now this does have natural flavors. It's very, very hard to find a flavored coffee creamer without natural flavor. And I've heard really good things about this. So I wanted to give it a try. Other than the natural flavor, this actually has pretty darn good ingredients. And it's most likely one point per tablespoon. It may be two. I'll put that here on the screen for you. So Target had a coupon on the app. So I grabbed that. Also, because they were out of that so delicious organic coconut milk that I got last week, that stuff was so good. I did also have a little coupon on the app for the Cliffia Farms. If you get unsweetened almond milk, you can avoid natural flavor. And also, Cliffia, Cliffia Farms is carrageenan free, which I love. So I just picked up unsweetened. That way, I don't have to worry about there being any natural flavor. Also, I grabbed some shredded parm from Walmart. Walmart has the best price for Parmesan cheese. I would say second to Walmart is Trader Joe's. So I grabbed that. We need this for quite a few recipes and we do like to put Parmesan on our salad as well. Picked up some Sargento Baby Swiss. This is for my husband's lunches. This week he actually requested ham and Swiss sandwiches. So speaking of ham, at Target I grabbed two packs of the Good & Gather uncured Black Forest ham. That way he has enough. He, we put a lot of meat on his sandwiches to get him through his work week. Also, Target still had their Laura's Lean Ground Beef, the 96.4 for $3 off, making this $4.99 a pound, which is really really affordable i actually don't need any more ground beef but i can't pass up that deal so i went ahead and picked up two more pounds there was a two pound limit on all meat milk and honey bread this is for my husband but this is only three smart points to slice so if you're not really concerned with ingredients and you want a regular type of bread three smart points for a full size slice and this bread's actually really good is not bad at all now the next two weekends uh we are going camping we've rented a couple of cabins one at priest lake idaho and one um in loon lake washington which is pretty close to where we live so of course we had to get all the camping things so i picked up marshmallows at walmart they actually substituted the small bag for the large bag at no additional cost yes i will be vlogging our camping trips i like to show you guys how to stay on track while camping and also what we indulge in when camping as well hence the marshmallows to make some s'mores i also grabbed some chocolate just one regular bar to take with us next weekend and then at target i actually grabbed this pack of these 10 minis i thought that might actually even be better because then i can throw these in the refrigerator at the cabin and only use one at a time that way it's only i think it's like 50 or 60 calories so that's nice that'll last us actually for probably most of the summer this amount of chocolate also got some more of the Applegate Natural Smoked Turkey Breast. I really like this one and the Trader Joe's brand, but this one was a little bit more affordable and it's super good. I just like to have this on hand for salads or wraps or sandwiches. I just generally eat some of this every single week just through as snacks and things. So this Applegate Naturals is really, really good. Fantastic ingredients. Also, I needed some Italian seasoning and Target only had the actual Target brand. And I didn't know Trader Joe's doesn't make Italian seasoning. So I picked up just the Market Pantry. I did grab some more coconut aminos. I am literally have about a tablespoon left at Trader Joe's. Best price for coconut aminos. This is just a better for you soy sauce substitute. So I generally will put this in place of any recipe or dish that calls for soy sauce. 
also at Target. I grabbed some almond extract. I need this for a couple of recipes and I use almond extract a lot in baking. So I picked up the big container because it was just as affordable as the small one. And I know the obsession, the addiction continues. I grabbed Cleo bars. So I actually picked up six of the vanilla and six of the strawberry. You guys know I love these. And for a dessert, this has pretty darn good ingredients. Now, not perfect, but pretty good ingredients. These are six smart points each. So I grabbed six of each flavor that will definitely be good and i was even thinking i might take these camping because we have a fridge in our cabin and this would be a great sweet treat when i am on track so super excited for those as always also at target i grabbed the archer farms chicken breast nuggets these are actually for my husband if you follow my channel you know that i love making my salad with the collie power new chick on the block i'll put a picture here for you guys of those chicken nuggets i basically or chicken pieces i should say i air fry those chop them up throw them in my salad so I'm gonna make a salad for dinner tonight and I don't know that my husband would like those so I went ahead and picked these up for him really affordable at Target so I went ahead and grabbed those also for my husband's lunch he loves these party little bites so I grabbed these luckily I'm not a fan so they don't tempt me sitting in my pantry they're just not something that I gravitate towards or would overeat so I'm fine having those in the house also, I had ordered the name brand uh, graham crackers at Walmart. They were out, so they substituted the great value. I am a bit of a snob when it comes to graham crackers. I really like the Honey Made, but I accepted it, and we'll see if these are just as good, and you will hear about these, of course, in my camping vlog. And of course, at Target, I had to restock my Partake cookies. I love these, you guys. But this week, I got the cookie butter flavor instead of the birthday cake or party one. These are so incredibly delicious. So you can have three cookies for 140 calories. They have such fantastic ingredients. They're gluten-free. Again, ingredient list is spectacular. I love these. I usually have one for two smart points and it's perfect for a little dessert after a meal. So I grabbed those. I also picked up the Annie's Animal Cookies because I still have some of that snickerdoodle dessert hummus that I bought at Target a couple weeks ago and I really like to dip this type of thing in there and Annie's is great perfect ingredients if you have kids this is a great option for cookies and the little goldfish type of crackers and things like that so I grabbed that for the rest of that dessert hummus of course my usual cheese at Trader Joe's I have the organic shredded mozzarella and then I also have the Trader Joe's light three cheese blend these are just the two cheeses I am always always picking up at Trader Joe's underneath that I have some simply balanced organic uh, flour tortillas the big 10 inch these are for my husband I actually eat the La Tortilla factory or the Siete but my husband doesn't care so I grabbed these for him so that he has these to make his quesadillas and wraps and things on his days off at Trader Joe's I also picked up some whole flaxseed I only have ground and there's a few recipes coming out this week that call for whole flaxseed plus this is such a great thing to throw in oatmeal quinoa just really really good nutritious value in flaxseed also some more yogurt pretzels for my husband these are in no way shape or form point friendly i'll tell you that right now i don't eat these i've tried these they're delicious but these are actually for my husband's lunch and then of course since i did a walmart pickup i grabbed a case of the gt's kombucha it's two bottles of trilogy two bottles of ginger aid and two bottles of ginger berry i love kombucha i like to have some every single day if i have it on hand so i grabbed that and then at Trader Joe's, I picked up a big five pound bag of red potatoes because I need potatoes for several recipes this next week. Everything else is produce, starting with organic strawberries. So look at this, you guys, this is not full. Look at the gap between the top of the lid and the strawberries. I don't know, Trader Joe's, but I was really feeling strawberries, so I grabbed them. Some more organic lemons i've been putting these in my water i'm kind of back on the lemon bandwagon and i mentioned last week that i do like to get the organic because i do put the whole lemon in my water and it sits in there all day so i've just been trying to avoid an overabundance of pesticides in my lemon a couple of organic green bell peppers i need one for a recipe and the other one we'll use in some type of dinner this week some carrots i thought these little tricolored carrots were super cute i was actually on the hunt for some good hummus and unfortunately target didn't have any with good ingredients so we'll find another way to eat our carrots this week but i did grab those 
some dried apple rings. These I count as zero points. All that is in here is apples. There's nothing else in here other than dried apples. So for me, this is zero smart points and I actually need them for a recipe. One orange for a recipe and then whatever's left we'll just have for snacking. I did decide to grab some organic Persian cucumbers, again, in the hopes of finding some good hummus but we'll just dip this in some ranch or we'll make our own dip or something like that. So I got those. Some organic broccoli florets, I need those for a recipe. And then whatever's left we'll put as a side dish. And some organic baby spring mix for salad tonight. Again, I'm making a really good chicken, feta, blue cheese, all the good things salad for dinner tonight. I did forget a couple things, you guys, that aren't produce. So I did grab some more of the organic creamy peanut butter salted from Trader Joe's. You guys know how I feel about my peanut butter. And I like to bake with this over the mixed nut butter from Costco because it doesn't have the seeds and the nuts in there. So this is what I use mainly for baking, but I like the mixed nut butter on my toast and English muffin. I know, I'm weird. And then lastly, officially lastly, I grabbed a can of sliced back black olives from Trader Joe's just for pizzas and recipes throughout the week. So. Holy moly, that is this week's grocery haul. Now next week there will be a haul up on Saturday and it's gonna be a fun one because it's going to be all things camping in addition to four recipes for when we return from our camping trip. So definitely stay tuned for a really fun different haul next week. So let's jump in to this week's meal plan and what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. All right guys, little bonus haul. I went and got my eyebrows waxed and stopped at Rosar's mainly to pick up my cottage cheese but I was starving, so I grabbed a couple things. So let me show you the little extra groceries I got. Um, you can tell I have a problem. I have three of the Good Culture Whole Milk Classic Cottage Cheese. Love this cottage cheese, you guys. This is hands down my favorite. I went ahead and just bought three, just because that way I can avoid having to go back to that store. It's really the one store that even carries this cottage cheese, and the expiration date is far enough out, like we're talking end of June, that no problem eating that. And then I found this in the clearance section. This is the Garden of Life Sport Protein Drink. I don't know the points. I'll put it here on the screen. But it has really good ingredients. The only thing it has that I don't love is natural flavor. I'm going to take this camping to add to coffee if I need like a little protein boost when we're out camping. So I grabbed that. This was on clearance or reduction because it expires in a couple days. But when I was doing my Zoom Live with my Facebook group, someone mentioned this, I think her name was Laura, mentioned this dip and said that it was delicious. So I grabbed it and we're gonna do a quick little taste test on this dip because I'm excited to try it. And then I picked up eggs because I was gonna grab eggs from the local farmer, but she hasn't gotten back to me and I don't think I have enough for the week, so I grabbed that. And this is what we're gonna try with the dip. We're gonna use these Siete grain-free tortilla chips, dip chip. You guys, these are the best in class chips. Look at these ingredients. I mean, everything in here is absolutely perfection. I love these so much. So we're gonna dip a chip in our dip Let's try it. All right, so you guys are in my cupboard, and here is the dip. So this is basically what that dip looks like. It actually looks just like a ranch or French onion dip that you would pick up at the store like a French's. And these Siete chips are a nice round tortilla. You guys, I'm excited. She says this dip, this dip is dairy free and it has fantastic ingredients. She said this is just as good as regular dip, so. Mm. Oh yeah, really good. It tastes just like regular ranch dip. Wow, this and this, yummy. So here's the meal planner that I use. Again, this is the Carrie L. I've mentioned in the last few weeks of hauls that unfortunately they had to lay off all of their employees due to the virus. So they have discontinued making the actual spiral bound like mine here of the meal planner. But you can do their printables, which is a great option. You can use my code for those as well. My code will be down in the description box for you guys. It'll save you 10% off. And if you are interested in the planner, it's still a great time to be able to support Carrie L, the small business and take advantage of their options for printables. So they're just as great as the planner. You just print them off yourself. So
So I do want to show you guys kind of my plan. I use the monthly calendar. So these are my meals for the entire month of June. I have them all planned out. So it's very, very simple because each week I just take advantage of the weekly menu here and I jot down my dinners. Here's my grocery list that I take to the grocery store. So it's very comprehensive. Everything is done for you. Makes it very, very easy to plan your meals and stay on track. So this is the week that we're currently in, which is the week of 5.30 through 6.5. You guys, it's June almost. It's so crazy to me. So today's Saturday. This is the day that I go out to dinner. I do use my weeklies on Saturday. So we always try to support a local small business. Tomorrow, you'll be seeing in Wednesdays what I eat in a day because I do film that on Sunday. I'm going to be making mini turkey meatloafs with mashed potatoes. So you guys will see that on Wednesday. Tuesday, I'm going to do barbecued meatloaf with potatoes and carrots, kind of that home cooked, good feeling food for Tuesday night's dinner or Monday night's dinner. I'm sorry. Tuesday, I'm going to do a whole chicken in the crock pot. I actually got a chicken in my butcher box. If you guys are struggling to find good quality meat, check out butcher box. I love it. I can't wait for my next box to come. I do have a link down in the description box for $30 off of your first box. So if you're looking for good quality, organic, grass-fed meat at an affordable price, ButcherBox can't be beat. So I'm going to use my whole chicken from them, throw it into the crock pot and have some veggies and maybe some sort of a rice or potato for a side dish. Wednesday, I'm doing a ham and cheese skillet. I'm really excited about this. This is a little higher point dinner, but I can't wait. It's comfort food to the max. And then Thursday and Friday, we are camping. So you'll definitely be seeing that vlog, like I mentioned, coming up here in the next couple of weeks. So those are dinners for the week. On the back side is where I just plan out my meal prep. It just makes it very convenient and easy. I just use the back side of my dinner planning. So for breakfast this week, you'll be seeing all of these recipes on Monday in my meal prep video. I'm going to be doing a vanilla almond overnight quinoa. So this is a spin on overnight oats using quinoa. So I am I'm stoked for this recipe. I can't wait to share this with you guys. Lunch is going to be an orange sesame chicken bowl. Now what's great about this recipe is we're going to make this for lunches this week. We are going to reserve some of this recipe for next week's meal prep. So it's kind of a two for one type of a recipe. So I'm excited to share that with you guys. And then this, of course, I can't wait for. I'm going to make no bake cranberry apple oat bar. So we're going to get some fruit, some oats, some good healthy food in a snack. So you'll be seeing all three of these recipes again on Monday in my meal prep video. So that is my plan for the week. Again, this is my carry -all meal planner. The link down in the description box will get you 10% off. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Grocery Haul. Holy moly, we had some groceries for the week. I'm super excited to share next week's grocery haul with you for the week as well as for our camping. It's going to be so fun. So stay tuned here in just a few weeks for those camping vlogs. It's fun to take you guys along with me and I show you how you can stay on track when you're traveling, when you're on vacation, when you're camping. So stay tuned for those. Down in the description box are the links to all of my favorite things as well as the link to my website for my recipes and the link to head over and join us on my Facebook group. We have just over 15,000 amazing supportive members and we'd love to have you be part of our community over there. So just click the link down below, head on over and join us. If you're new, welcome. I do a grocery haul every single Saturday. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button and the bell right next to it. That way you're just notified when new videos are uploaded. I do upload most days of the week so you don't want to miss out. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls. And of course, leave those comments down below. I want to hear if I showed you any new food finds this week and what recipe are you most excited about next week. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me on your Saturday. Have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. My darling, I love you, 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 I love you.